So here's the inside of the Brown Face Deluxe. And then the back plate. Here's your serial number. D02513. And then your transformers, your filter packs have changed uh, filters. These capacitors have been changed, which is typical for this vintage. Your transformer date codes are uh, 606150. I believe that's 61, if I'm not mistaken, but someone can correct me on that. And this date code is uh, 606. 839 and the top one is B041316 SB4 this power transformer may have been changed I don't recognize that that date code but then again I don't know these amps very well I know this it plays and sounds absolutely awesome that I believe is original to the sample. This thing could be a 61 or a 62. I'm not sure. I forget what the guy told me that I bought it from. And then on the cabinet, the top panel is missing. Obviously, this speaker has changed. This is one of the most awesome speakers Mr. Ted Weber ever made. This was the last design he worked on. It is an Alnico speaker. This was about a $230 speaker. Um, there's the speaker details, if that will focus. Yep, there it is, 20, 30 watts, I guess. Um, the build date was 2015, looks like. I have another speaker I use for a period of time. Oh, here's the, uh, the label inside the amp. So overall, it's good condition. I don't know if it's original Tolex or not. I assume it is, but I don't know that. I never changed it. And the grill cloth, again, don't know. Just don't. The handle I do, I changed it. The old handle was in pretty bad shape. I put a new leather handle on. And then the speaker that the amp came with, bear with me, is not original. But it's more vintage than the, the Weber speaker I put in it. Oh. I can get the box open. This is a 12 inch, obviously, Vibranto Jensen but not the vintage of the amp. That amp would have come with a oxygen speaker. This speaker, I believe, dates, there's a date code on here somewhere that dates it to the later 60s. So it sounds good. It sounds more vintage than the, than the Weber speaker. However, I like the sound of the Weber speaker better, and he can run either one. The Vincent, the Jensen Vibranto is kind of a high-end speaker, so I'm told. I just didn't want to blow it, so I ran the Weber. Um, the front panel, you can see, pretty good shape for a 50-year-old, 60-year-old amp, excuse me, 60-year-old amp. And it sounds absolutely amazing. Vintage tones are your thing. New, amp, new amps really don't get them like the old amps do. They just don't. This circuit looks to be unmodified. The caps are original, they appear correct. That, I don't think that's an original cap right there. Could be wrong. These certainly are. I don't see any evidence of modifications or repairs or anything like that. But then again, I've only owned this amp for about eight or eight years, something like that, maybe nine, maybe 10. Anyway, there it is, 61, 62 Fender Deluxe for sale on eBay.